Today is assassins. And the first assassin is really a legend. That's right. We're talking about Sasaki Kojiro. The savior of France. The savior of France. Um, he got buffed as shit. <laughs> He's... Uh, he kind of got buffed he got, all the way, like, bro. So like, he many started, buffs. he started at, like, a I, B. I want to say he started here. And then he got buffed. No, no, he, he started at a B. Right here, that's when B. he went, When he first got released, mm -hmm. he was okay. But he was, like, one of the best assassins you could have. So at the start of the game, there's the re that's the reason we call him the savior, the savior of France. Right. Because he literally solos Orleans. Mm-hmm. Literally early on, if you didn't have any like good assassins, Saki Kojiro will slay those wyverns. Even though they really wanted you to use Siegfried, Saki Kojiro. And then this fucking bastard. This fucking bastard gets an NP strengthening. Yep. This NP strengthening gives him some of the highest scaling that you can have on an NP. Yep. Which is nothing to scoff at. Yep. And it increases his quick performance by 20% before activation for three turns and can stack. He's got a triple quick deck with a 1.05 NP charge rate. And then they gave him another buff on his third skill. Mm -hmm. And then that buff increased his crit star generation and gave him a star absorption. All for three turns, and so now he could generate more stars mm -hmm. and guarantee he got those crit stars to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then they gave him another buff mm -hmm. on his fucking um uh his fade out. So now it's not just mental debuffs; it's all, all debuffs. debuffs, and it gives him crit stars, and it gives him. Uh, a quick resist down when he attacks with quick cards for three turns by 10%. Yes, three quick this cards counts also for his NP. So his NP can apply a quick resistance down on top of his face cards, and a resistance down registers as a face card buff to the unit. So he's just stacking quick ups like an Absolute motherfucker. And for that, all that being the case, yes, all of you shouting in chat, he does need grails because of the stats that he has. Being a one star, that would be the one bad thing about that. Blurry Muzaki! Give me a second. Let me get back into focus. Let me focus. Let me focus. I'm still blurry. I don't know why. You gonna, you gonna focus on me now? You gonna focus? No? Not gonna focus? Not gonna focus. You're not gonna focus. Not gonna focus. There we go. But yes, honestly, I say the opinion is an A. He does need grails. But people, if you're not grailing for love, if you're just sitting on a stockpile of grails and you actually do use Sasaki Kodro or you wanna use Sasaki Kodro, a grail or two is all that he really needs. I get some people value their grails. Uh, not everyone used their grails. So. If you do have a Grail to spare and you want to use him, he's he's a good target for that. I think, I, I think I'd put him A+. Plus. I want to put him A. I'm thinking about A+. Plus. I just put him in A to start, but are you putting him on the same level as Okada Iza? I mean, yes. Here's here's the thing. If people are... Cause, cause it's a known fact that if you want to get the most out of Izo, he needs Grails. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Even when Izo first came out, people were saying, if you want Izo to do the fucking things he can do, he needs Grails. Mm -hmm. Kojiro is the same. He needs Grails. Mm -hmm. That it doesn't matter how many Grails. It just matters that you need Grails. How many, how, like, so many people are just sitting on a stockpile of Grails because they don't Grail every unit. Mm -hmm. So if the argument for Izo is A plus even with Grails, I think Kojiro is A plus with Grails as well. Fair enough. 
Plus, he is a little, he's cheaper too and easier to get. Okada Izo, probably the only thing preventing him from EX is the fact that he's limited, honestly. And the Grails. The Grails, with the limitation, honestly, drag him down. Otherwise, I would make I would make Okada Izo EX. So that's a little bit of a spoiler ahead of time. But, next Saber. We have Wuzeshin. I want to say A to start. We either go uh, down or uh, I don't know how I feel about this unit. I'm going to be real. For a while, she was uh, the one you relied on for quick support. And to a point, she is like a backup quick support. Uh, so in my opinion, like started off at A, at the very least. And then she did get buffed like once or twice, didn't didn't she? Fucking maybe I could do a quick fucking check. I don't. I, mean, I, I have a Wuzeshin, okay. and I don't use them because I don't have a reason to use them. You and know? that's fair, but I feel like it, it, comparing her to her peers. She's definitely on the better side. Yeah, she got a she got a buff to her NP and her first skill. Her first skill is actually not that bad. What the fuck? It's actually pretty high. It's kind of weird. What? It's actually kind of weird though. On the same in that same thing. All right. Mm. Fucking. She is. Uh... She has. Ridiculous single target damage. Yeah, her her she is off support, uh, D single target DPS. If she could guarantee her imperial privilege with like a buff increase without having to have like Aussie increase buff chance or Lonling increase buff chance, because that's both a four star saber and a five star rider, so it's not like an easy to get buff. But if you could guarantee that, that'd be a 38% attack up on top of a 20% attack up from her third skill. Sadly, she doesn't give herself the quick up on her third skill, which would really be helpful. But the defense down that she applies and the several attack ups that she gives herself gives her incredible amounts of damage that no other four star can kind of compete with. IMO. Honestly, I say an A plus for me. Honestly, All I'm all I'm said. all right with I'm all right with A plus. It's not like a super high A plus, but I don't feel comfortable putting her the, in A. I'm so confused about the burn damage she applies when her NP applies poison. It just like I get it. It's a torture technique. Probably multiple mm. stacking, so he has Why? poison and burn. I mean, fair. The poison lasts for three turns, and the burn lasts for three turns, both for a thousand, so that's 2k per turn. I don't know. I just feel like if her first skill applied, like, toxic status so that her poison on the NP could do more damage, especially considering she can pseudo-loop this, it, it, it would take, like, two turns, like, the NP turn and then the turn after to loop it, mm -hmm. but she can do it. And so that could stack up really fast, really high. I don't know. Just throwing shit out there. Mm -hmm. It does seem weird, but I do kind of like it. So, just there. Okay. Next up, we got Carmilla. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Plush. I'm sorry to be to start. I'm leaning towards an A. I'm leaning toward A too, but the B was to start. I'm just saying that I'm, like, leading towards an A. But she's got, like, the fucking 20% attack up on her MP. Her MP did get a buff. Her s Sorry. fucking... She also is a potential free unit, so he's, uh, accessibility is really high. She, for a four star. Her, also, her third skill, because she was a starting unit, her third skill was given to her from the strengthening... And her third skill kind of fucking sucks dick. Mm. So she only really has her second and first skill. First skill's kind of alright, 27% battery at max level, and it's and then her second skill is a 20% defense down. I don't know, fucking I don't think she's any better than an A. She kinda of speaks for herself with her NP kind of being her major shtick. Yeah, I'd say A is really solid with the 
when like if you're utilizing her effectively, A plus for sure. But like I, A is solid, and I think that's good for me in my opinion. Because you can make any servant in their best conditions almost an EX, but on the whole, yeah. I mean, I mean on the whole, could, yeah. on her own. A I just, I good. just, I don't feel that her and her her base stats warrant any higher than an A when her skills suck so bad. Mm. Full package. I say A is fine. Cleopatra! Maybe we wait maybe okay. we'll move her later on. I don't know. Yeah, we can potentially move her later on. Remember, this is all about um this is our preliminary thoughts, and then as we go over the list again, you know, we'll probably check some stuff. But I say a high A at the very least. Um next up we got Cleopatra, and I'm really sad about this. Cleo IMO is a B. Yep. Straight away. I'm really sad though. She shouldn't be a B, but she is. <laughs> it is really unfortunate. I, uh, do I want her? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to like decide: is she B? Is she not B? Where? How do I? Well, here's my other thing. Like, is she better than Semi Ramos? That is the question as a Buster AoE, mm -hmm. I guess. Because that's her only competition in that slot for Assassin. Uh, she did get a buff, so I'm not sure how much better that makes her. Well, her buff is to her MP. All of her skills are still kind of the same. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really have, like, an actual battery. So she can't really Oberon or Veach farm. She does have rather good MP charge rate. So like, if you give her a couple turns, she can get her MP up, especially considering the MP regeneration on her second skill. But she also doesn't have anything to guarantee buffs. So her Imperial Privilege attack up is kind of in the air. I feel like uh, I feel like she is better than Semi Ramos personally. I feel like an A is I. I all right. I, I, I feel like an A. Just like considering where she's at, she started off strong. I mean, like she has good hit counts on her quick cards. Her arts mm -hmm. cards hits twice, so like without critting on her arts cards, she isn't gonna get noticeable NP back. Yep. Granted, if you do have her second skill leveled up to 10, that's a 40% NP charge rate up, so... Uh, again, without a crit, you're not gonna see too, too much noticeable gains. I feel like... Alright, now that I've, like, gone through it, I think an A. Mm. I think an A. Alright, then we'll settle I think I think an A. Alright, there we go. Then we'll stick with A. I'm, I am agree with that, personally. Kitsugu Emiya Assassin. Fuck! <laughs> nah, I have to think about this. Fuck! It's, 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 assassins, we have to ask Assassins think about suck, bro! Because they are not. Guys, I got, uh, Percy, sit down. Assassins aren't good. <laughs> Alright? They are some good assassins, but the assassin class is trash. It is. They did assassins so dirty that they were on a two-year hiatus from assassins. You got Okita J Soji. Well, guess what? You're not getting another new assassin until 2023. There you go. <laughs> At least in an A. In JB, we just got several assassins this year. It's, it's horrible. It doesn't help the fact that they have a low like attack rate uh, already based off their class. Lower than anyone else, I think. I think lower than casters. Uh, or the same as casters. It's just unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. It feels like they didn't know what to do with assassins for a while. His fucking crit star generation isn't... bad. Mm -hmm. If you, like, quick buster quick, because of the hit counts on his buster card, you can generate... An amount of stars. Right. His NP does dummy damage. Dummy thing. But his kit's kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
He has a one turn 40% arts up, an invuln pierce for three turns, a 50% crit damage up for three turns, and a fucking targetable taunt on his third skill that's also a crit star bomb. But none of it feels like it meshes well. Honestly. Also, don't forget, this motherfucker has an 8.9k attack stat when assassins have a fucking 0.9 damage multiplier, meaning that 8.9 attack stat's like an 8.3 or an or like an 8.1. I gotta say C. He's fine. It's just... I don't know. It's either C or B. I, I see no higher than B. No higher than B. As, unfor <sighs> as unfortunate as that is, I don't want him to be that. Like, in any of those categories. I, f I, I fucking... Uh... We have to, like, define what B is. Do we feel like he's good, but just needs help? To, like, actually be, like, a unit to depend on? Or do you feel like he actually needs more than just a little help? I feel like he has a fantastic base. But he, he he's like a hollow apple. Pretty on the outside, fucking nothing on the inside, bro. Yeah, no substance. No substance. And that's real unfortunate. Honestly, I, th I, th I think C. I, I honestly yeah, think C. I'm kind of alright with C. <sighs> that's unfortunate. I don't want you to be there, but... Alright, I got to make an argument here. Let's go. I want to say 100 Face Hassan is A, A? I get to make an argument for 100 Face being EX. Oh, shit! What? Hold on a second. Oh, let's go! All right, let's hear it, buddy. So, Hundred Face is one of the few budget assassins in the game that, like, you don't have to roll on a rate-up banner. That is mm -hmm. actually like is suitably fantastic and can NP loop off of her own skills before Castoria's system. Mm. Um, granted, granted. It does require one of her skills being suitably leveled, being her expert of many specializations. Has a chance to increase arts up and uh, quick performance. Uh, quick buster and arts performance, all by 30%. That's just flat, that's just base. And that's all for three turns. The levels in the skill is the percent chance to activate these buffs. Her first skill is Library of Stored Information, which increases her NP generation for three turns. With an NP charge rate of 0.48 and an NP damage charge rate of 0.38, her cards and her NP will refund NP ridiculously well, especially considering she actually gets an NP damage up, which reduces arts resistance. So off of her own NP and potentially a arts and uh, NP brave chain, she can NP loop by herself. And that's without Castoria. I'm giving. It and that's without Castoria. Like bare minimum, she's A plus. However, her third skill is a two K to four K heal. It does remove all of her buffs if she uses it, but it gives her fantastic survivability on top of the evade that her second skill gives her. And that's not even looking into the fact that her MP actually generates crit stars. Hmm. So at 13 hits, she can generate a fuck ton of crits, uh, crit stars. Like an absolute metric shit ton. So she's incredibly self-sufficient. Does incredible amounts of damage, regardless of the fact that at a 0.9 class damage multiplier with a 6.6k attack stat. You put in, like, Silver Foes to bring her up to 7.6k. She's one of the most self-sufficient units in the Assassin class. Alright, you win. Give it up. The first EX Assassin of the day... Goes to 100 face Hassan. Give it up! You made your case, man. You made your case. Honestly, I can't fight that. I can't even say no to that. On top of that, she's 
very easy unit to get to. You don't have to try and fight for her. She's just there. You can get her. So yeah, no. I'm fair with that. I'm fair with that. Next up, another member of the Hassan clan. Cursed Arm Hassan. Bare minimum, A+. Plus. I was going to say A+, plus for me. Now the question is, is he EX? Hmm. I don't know if she's as good as 100 Face. I don't know if he's as good as... I know he's good, though. Like, Kojiro and uh, like Cursed Arm, they got me through a lot of content early on. Like, back when fucking Kitatsuga even came out. In the event, like the fucking Excel order event, Fate Zero event, I was using Cursed Arm up in there. So, I, I just the thing about Cursed Arm is that he's incredibly self-sufficient, much like um, Hundred Face, but he has big dick energy, larger than any other like, bronze unit I've ever seen because of what his buff to his NP does. Do you know what his NP buff is? Tell me. Tell me. So, at a two-star level, you can get him MP5. He gets an MP strengthening, which brings him up to the highest damage scaling of single target quick. Well, it's also an instant death NP. Normally, that's bad, because right. instant death in the game sucks. Right. And it can fuck up with your looping. However, if he instant kills, he gives himself a 20% attack up for 3 turns and recharges his MP by 50%. Well, fuck. He can Giga Chad Big Dick Energy on top of the fact that his first skill is a 15 crit star bomb that then regens another 15 crit stars the next turn. On top of a 50% crit damage up for 3 turns, as well as a 3 hit evade, no turn limit, that is also a star regeneration rate increase on a two on a 25.2% star regen uh, base stat with the Presence Concealment A+, which is another 10% on top of that, and a triple quick death that hits 3 times with a 1.07 MP charge rate. Even if he doesn't get the instant death proc, because he can quick Brave Chain, he can be incredibly self-sufficient in his crit stars, leading to him being a primary, so like, main DPS unit. With his self-modification C giving him crit damage, on top of him being able to generate his own stars, on top of him being able to regen his own stars, on top of him having a hit based evade. Huh. I don't know if that makes him EX, though. But it makes him really fucking good. But that makes him incredibly good, which is why I say he is base A+. But he ain't ever killing, like, instant killing shit because instant kill sucks in this game. But just the he's fact the that he has a backup. Stat. The fact yeah, that he in has case a he fail does. state. Sorry, a fail state. If something goes wrong or you do kill, you don't want to kill. Oh, he gets some benefits now. So, not bad. Uh... Yeah, throwing daggers, by the way, which is his first skill, which regens the I, crit stars, is also on a four-turn cooldown. I will take a moment to like take this out of the um, chillest video, but Daniel, curious, why you think A plus is an exaggeration? I am, I am very curious. I would like to see your reasoning, especially if you say it's based on performance. Mm. Because remember, we're not putting him there solely for the MP. We're still in there for his full kit. Like, everything that he does. Like, honestly, like, for everything he does. And he's, again, a free-to-play unit. Anyone can get them. Anyone can get Cursed Arm Hassan. Hundred Face Hassan. Saki Kojima. I'm kind of much the same, Kika. I'm kind of thinking A-plus and not EX. EX was kind of like... A Ooh, consideration. EX? A consideration. Yeah, but I don't we're, think he's, we're I think asking the question. Right. Yeah, I think A plus is fine for him, and then I'm gonna commit seppuku in the next five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know, I uh, know, bud. God have mercy on my soul. I know, bud. I mean, at the very least, you know, the the next the next Hassan is very much. She's she at least is very good in her niche. 
Like, at the very least. Um, I think he is the only creeper I never use. You should give him a shot. Try him out. They buffed him. He's really good. Yeah, he's actually, like, really fucking good. You um, can also slap pretty hard. Yeah, no, like, for people who are underestimating these three and two and one stars, I challenge you guys to actually invest into them. Try them out. Keep in mind, yeah, this is much. within the assassin class. Yeah. This is just within assassins. Mm -hmm. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, like we're judging these guys against themselves. Like these are the there best. Ain't, there ain't no fucking way. I'm saying that fucking curse darn can swap hands with Arthur. Yeah, you fucking no, shitting me? No. You fucking not, shitting me? We're not saying that. So for those who go through the tier list thinking, oh man, well you put such and such an A+, plus. are you saying that Curse Armor Son is as strong as Arthur Prototype? No, we're they not saying like, that. It's fucking... We are judging them in their own class. Fucking kiss my ass. Oh, man. So, you know, I didn't see anything, Daniel, so I'm just going to move on because I don't want to be here all night waiting. But hey, if you got, feel free to type it still, and I'll answer you uh, proper answer. So next up! Song of Serenity, Tristan's she's wife. She's fucking. Um, she's a B or an A. That's how I'm thinking it's either B or an A. <sighs> I really. She's really good at dot, especially with the buffs that they're giving her. She, unironically, is the damage over time queen of this game. Mm. But that means jack shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if you want to do damage over time in this game, you better be prepared to sit there for like nine years. Exactly. That was not very viable. Like, I'll I'll give I'll give her a B in my to be perfectly honest. I will give her the After B. her after her three buffs, she's not a C because she actually has she actually has like something she can do. Mm. It's just it's so niche and something you have to so specifically buff and build a comp into that you there's just better things to do. I don't think she's garbage like C is. She's a B because she actually has like an idea of what she's supposed to do. She just needs not even just a buff to herself but dots in this game just need a buff. Um, My response to you Daniel is that that is definitely the case but my argument then brings you to Hercules. Yeah, I don't use Hercules anymore because I have a better account but please believe he is not shit. <laughs> He is really good. Super you solid. See, the thing the thing about that, Kika, is you may think that it's actually Salome. And that's a good that's a good response. Salome is incredibly like great. The issue is that none of her skills actually apply any of her dots. It's only her NP which applies curse damage and then evil curse damage. Whereas Serenity has her second skill which applies her dot. And then her MP, which also applies her dot. And her skill applies the toxic status, which doubles her dot damage, while also being on a four turn cooldown with a five turn skill duration. So she can have 100% uptime on her dot, where Sal Salome needs to have her th either her third skill proc multiple times in like a double Salome comp or a Salome battery comp. And poison is more readily accessible than curses. But Salome is an incredible answer, and it's a good thing you used her. Yep, and thankfully she's in Berserkers. Honestly, they will work. I think they kind of work pretty good in a, in a comp like that, like a, just a dot type. But I agree, dot overall probably needs to, just needs to be looked at. If, if the, gonna... ish, the issue is like dots as like a fucking everything like burn poison curse they fucking suck so like kika real, burn real. is the is the most is burn is the hardest to apply curse has the higher scaling but poison is the most readily accessible but why would you run any of them? why would you do any of them when you can just crit? actually kill them <laughs> where you could actually just kill them outright it works in long-term strategies if you're trying to like over time kill something that you just can't kill out right but not that great but yeah no i i get it so you get my response that salome is a great answer but salome is a berserker 
So, I mean, like, that's, just, that's just my view on things, though, Kika, right? Like, in my opinion, I value the readily application of poison and uptime than rapidly stacking curse. That's just how I view things, though. And that's fair. And like, Again, I, I completely see your point with Salem. I just value the application more. Mm -hmm. It's just dots in this fucking game. So. I'm also... I, I don't want to put her in C, but if you put her in C, I no understand. no 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 I'm not you didn't let you let me put my waifu up I'm not I'm not gonna desecrate Serenity to be like for me I honestly think people should try her out instead of just writing her off all rip but no again it'll be like for a fun comp to try out like she needs spend, I spend too much fucking time playing around with dots because I actually use Serenity unironically in every single like situation I can. Mm -hmm. So like, please, you actually use please buff stuff. dots, <laughs> please God. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I definitely get like to me like just saying why not use alone? Cool, you do. I, that's fine. I just I wouldn't knock her against. I wouldn't. That wouldn't. To me, in my opinion, that wouldn't knock her down. So that someone like Curse Design dips in that already saturated crit without offering another buff, which is bad. I mean, for me, again, it's the fact that he is a free-to-play unit, free-to-play friendly, everyone can get them, he has high accessibility. And yes, if you get other servants that are better, use those servants. Okay, let me take a second. I'm sorry. So sorry. Just because your Kaldia has been blessed with some really great units does not take away what these other units have just because for you certain servants are god tier does not mean that the servants that we put on here are any less because remember we're doing this for all like skill levels whether you're a brand new player or if you've been here for a while it gives you something to consider we also try to let you think about it because more often than not the FGO community likes to regurgitate the same fucking information they get from Reddit, from Wales, or her Toho Sniper. And even Toho Sniper wants you to fucking think. He doesn't want you to just listen to him and copy whatever he does. He wants you to use that singular brain cell in your fucking head to actually think about what these servants do and apply your own critical thinking. I'm not necessarily mad specifically at you, Daniel. But I, the overall thought process there is just not just because you have there. a Tristan doesn't mean he replaces David. Yeah, exactly. Just because you have one does not make the other shit. <laughs> like it's just they're both good. If you have one, sure. You like to use that one, sure. But we're putting this here to like, hey, consider this, consider this, <laughs> and and that's why. Like I just I just I don't like the fact the community likes to copy people they like to copy um oh fuck they like to copy anyone honestly <laughs> like anyone that makes a comp list uh, or a comp video oh, i'm gonna copy that and do it i'm gonna copy that and do it all right i'm gonna regurgitate the same information x naya said in his video that such and such is bad therefore it's bad i did no testing on this i don't even know if it works i just know they said it's bad so it's bad think try it out try experiment you guys tell us that uh, some servers are better in practice than on paper. I levy the same thing back at you guys. Try these servers out and see for yourself. Then come back with me. Anyhow, MHX. Honestly, she started off to me at like a D or F. It she was she, like an F when she first like, came honestly, out. Let's not even fucking kid herself. She was way down at the bottom. My waifu, really, I really liked her because she was funny. It was a funny take on Artoria. And then they made her a little better. Then they made her a little better. Then they made her a little better. Now I do not know. I don't know where she is. She's like, I don't she's know bare minimum. This. Bare minimum, she's an A. Like, but I don't know where she is. I think honestly, to me, she's moved up to a point where she's a good unit. She's a solid, single target, very good unit. I've actually used her quite a bit because I was doing a lot of interludes, so I had to use her. And I'm like, she's actually holding her own and she's actually doing stuff. <laughs> like, she's actually doing shit. You know? Her NP hits decently hard. She has a good fucking defense down on her first skill. Mm -hmm. She has a good star bomb. That's also a survivability. Mm -hmm. 
And her third skill isn't just dead in the water with saber damage. It's now like an actual attack up. Yep, it actually is good. <laughs> like, and her base stats are like actually pretty all right. And her hit counts on her quick cards are actually pretty all right. Like, I mm. I don't think she's an A plus. Yeah, I, I don't think, think she's I, I, I'm, I feel fairly confident right now having her an A. I think A is honestly the spot that she belongs, in my opinion. Like, A plus is like if you build a team around her to excel. But again, for those people who are bringing up like specific comps where a certain servant's really good, you can do that with any servant. You can build a servant to be that's the a best. Good, and that's the a star. good point. That is a good point to bring up. A five-turn cooldown on an invulm skill is pretty That's rare. True. That is very true. Five turns, not bad. Normally they're a lot longer. I still think she's a fucking A, but that is a fucking good thing to bring up. Chat, what are we thinking with Izo? Because he's 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 bare minimum an A plus. Like if we look at him without Grails. If we look at her without if we look at him like without Grails, he's like what like his cooldowns are his biggest fucking plus side right they're all low cooldowns they all do incredible fucking things for what what they do his stats are pretty fucking nutty uh his mp does some fuck shit damage so like i think a plus or ex but hey, EX, I'm pretty alright with EX actually now. I think like and because like if he's A plus without Grails, just like base, and you put investment into him, and investment translates to Grails, he's right beside Curse. Uh, he's right beside. Um, it's like if you at least at least in my head mode, right? Mm -hmm. Overcharge increases crit star generation, right? He already has good crit star generation. Mm -hmm. Double arts, double quick. He can loop his NP fairly easily. He has multiple sources of increasing his crit damage. He has incredibly low cooldowns. And he can almost turn himself into a perma crit machine. Stacking his crit star generation rate to the point that even his fucking arts cards can generate like six crit stars uh, one in, in a usage. He's kind of like Chloe, you know? Like if, if you like, because Chloe has that same thing where she can do like a noble phantasm arts chain and due to the, the buffs that she gives herself with fucking... Uh, star generation, she can generate 50 crit stars off of two arts cards. Yep. So, like, Izo's kind of the same thing. And that's just because he can he can fucking loop his NP for, like, almost with no problem, with no issue. Mm -hmm. And his fucking arts cards can generate ridiculous amounts of crit stars just due to buff stacking. It's insane, honestly. Like it, it's he's she's very good. Um, and that's not even, and that's not even looking at like if you put him in a team comp, right? You put him in like a Tamamo Castoria team comp. Tamamo yes. makes his cooldowns irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And Castoria just gives him every buff he could ever need. There you go. 
And like, so before I mentioned how limited he was, and it does suck, but it seems like now he's had a rate up on every single Guda Guda. So like, it's, as long as you play around Guda Guda, you have a chance to get an easy. Um, so again, here's the thing. Remember guys, I, I just want y'all to remember, we do value ease of access. We do value like, we don't want to reward, hey, five star limited unit EX because five star limited unit and three star unit. I just unit personally bad think that fucking. Star. I don't know, me personally, I just think Ezo's better than Kojiro. I've never liked Kojiro, like using Kojiro. Ezo is. That's not, that's not me. That, like, I like using Ezo. He was. He's not anymore, though. That's the issue. I would say so, Plushy. I would say so, in my personal opinion. Ease of access, very good. Yes, he's not easier to get than some other servants, but I don't really feel comfortable putting him in A+, plus, first of all. Like, especially if you put investment into him. I understand people, some people- Yo, Plushy, I fucking price. feel that. I didn't get a single Serenity in $400. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, Plush? I hope you're doing well, by the way. Uh, so yeah, no. If you have an Ezo, just use Ezo. <laughs> Unless you like quick memes. In that case, just use Ezo. Anyway, Asaka Behime! Wait! Wait a minute! DRF. 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 <laughs> DRF. I'm still reeling from that fucking comment! Give me a second. <laughs> if you're using quick memes, then use Ezo. Wait a minute! <laughs> Honest, I don't know, I feel like Osaka Behime is a C. <sighs> Fuck, don't make me put her in C. Ah, oh, man. Bro, her fucking crit damage up skill's insane! Don't sleep on that shit! Uh, what the fuck? Uh. Uh. I don't like it, but she ain't getting no fucking B out of me. She getting a C, and that's where she's staying. She she's staying at that. She she literally has a debuff resistance, a fucking well. Granted, it's her own debuff resistance and her own defense up, but it's a fucking on the dime party wide crit damage up that lasts for three turns, and it's a fucking fifty bomb, bro. Granted, I do value. The fact that fucking... Oh, uh, fuck. What's her name again? Bodica has essentially the exact same fucking thing. And she's a three-star, so you don't have to have a five-star for that, but that's not the discussion here. Yeah. It's still fucking on the dime! Uh... And that's also not to mention that, like, I, I hate her second skill. I don't like it. But her third skill, though. Her fucking third skill is a fucking 40% targetable defense down and a fucking buff removal. Uh, her NP sucks dick. No one will ever convince me otherwise. I hate her NP. That shit should not be on overcharge. That shit should be a fucking skill. But that's me. I would, in all honesty, no shit. Just off her, her first and her third skill, I would put her B. Kika, um, I gotta, I gotta tell you, cause, cause y'all have levied this same question to me and I've had answers. In what fucking world are you actually using the Saga Behemoth? In what fucking world? In what fucking world? Like, compared to all these other assassins, potentially, I could potentially see it, right? Right? In what fucking world do you say, oh yeah, I'll choose a Saga Behemoth, no cap. I feel like if her fucking NP actually healed instead of giving a max HP up, I'd be more lenient and say that she's like an A, but it doesn't. Uh, it does. She said it does heal, Tristan. No, it does. It doesn't heal. It's only a max HP up. 
It's a 2k max HP up at MP1, and it's a party defense by 20% for three turns. So, my, uh, just real quick, if it goes up by two, 2k HP and it goes away, does it still... It, they go back to the original HP value. Okay. Apparently said the 2k stays if you take damage. Yeah, if you take damage... Right. Okay, so that's that, that's true. Damage, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. It doesn't... Ca it's... It's... It's yeah. weird. Okay. It... This sounds really weird, guys. It's... Well, max max HP up is kind of weird in the game. It's mm -hmm. fake HP, right? But if the fake HP goes away, then it still counts as you like having that HP. Mm -hmm. so, so even it... if the turn limit goes like goes up, right? Like the the three turns on the the two K HP at MP one, then like, hypothetically speaking, right? Let's say you were at six K before. And you max HP up to 8k. Mm -hmm. It's essentially like a sh like, like like yeah yeah that's a better example. Think of it like a shield, right? That makes more it's, sense. Yeah, it's like a shield. Mm -hmm. I put this bitch at A. Y'all shut up, right? Because fucking A, I don't like it. I mean, I I, like I personally don't believe it. But I accept the reasoning. I, I disagree, Daddy. Kika, but I accept it. One. Daddy. Two. Get back in your room. <sighs> it's hardly a thing, Worker CC. The only reason why I'm saying that, Kika, is because you fucking value challenge quests. She doesn't really help you in a farming situation to me. But I know that's what you value. So, whatever. Fuck it. Don't care. A, we're moving on. I, Sammy Ramis, again, again, I disagree, but I accept it. It's Kiko. fine. I don't give a Sammy fuck. Ramis is a fucking B. IMO? IMO, Sammy Ramis is a B. That's me. Y'all seeing how much I care about these goddamn assassins. I hate it. If this was my scale, it'd be like this. F. Yeah. C. B. Like... Honestly, until before it got, it was this, but it was that like that. Honestly, even before that, it was like this. I don't like assassins. These changes are going from the information y'all are telling me based off of your experiences. I can give two shits about assassins. Like I, I, I am not, I am not feeling bad about admitting that. I think Sam, I Sammy Ramis is a hundred percent a B, bro. I'm a. Oh my God. Okay, why? Like she, she has, like. An actual kit. She has something going for her. She just needs a push. Mm -hmm. She needs a push, which is what B is for. That's she does true. have a battery. That's it's true. a 30% battery. So she can actually, like, Tomovich over on farm. She does, and that same battery lowers debuff resistance of the enemies for one turn. Her second skill, half of it's kind of dead because it's, it ignores attack and defense advantage against caster class. You kind of really care only for the MP generation increase. And then you have her third skill. Did they fix the crit star requirement or no? No, mm -hmm. which is why I say she's B. Mm -hmm. Because unless you have those eight crit stars, you literally cannot use her third skill, which is a 50% buster resistance down, they which is huge. really need to take that off of her. If they gave her first skill a crit star bomb, easy A plus IMO. Mm -hmm. IMO? Did they just give her like a crit star, like a crit star bomb, then easy then... A plus, because that third skill is a three turn, fifty percent buster resistance down. And I would be, I would be fine with that personally. Okay. I just, I don't, because I don't approve of the idea of solely bringing a twenty thirty just for Semiramis. I don't approve of it. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. And that's also looking at like her NP. Right. Her NP does good party wide damage, increases her NP damage before activation based off of overcharge, and and increases buff removal resistance of the party by a hundred percent. And it's also a, de a party wide defense up for three turns. Mm -hmm. Like she has, she has something going for her. Right. But. 
Her major, the major part of her kit is fucking dead. So if you want to use her for farming, I don't approve of using a fucking 2030. You're farming. You shouldn't have to. It's the fucking propriety of the situation. It's the fucking propriety. Fair. Fair, fair. I did some adjustments to the list, at least the bottom list. Jack the Ripper is next. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm just gonna let y'all talk. I'll let y'all talk. Uh, well, I'm gonna let y'all talk. Uh. Cause she uh, is a dated server, but remember, she's one of the few servers that can say, hey, your buffs uh, are gone, bye. Uh, Neutral game. She can get quite a few stars on her own just naturally. Uh, is your MP I'm... some of the best stuff? Eh, give or take. But like, her neutral's fucking strong. Her neutral's I'm, I'm, try fucking I'm trying. I'm trying to fucking think, bro. Her damage comes nowhere close to like Hassan or Lee. But holy shit, is her neutral so fucking good? Like for me, no cap. This is me. I'ma always stand Jack. I'ma always say Jack. Like, literally. Year, she's one of the few year one servers and when they came out, it's like, she's good. No, 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 she's good. Like, they just, if you buffed her, depending on you can, like, she just insane. Why the fuck do you think Oki DJ Soji was essentially used Jack as a template? Oh, we should probably put some fucking demerits on her, because honestly, she's just four star Jack at this point. <laughs> so, like, no. Go for it. How do you, like, without the female damage trait, mm -hmm. just using her as a boss killer, mm -hmm. Billy X? I value her neutral that much, yes. The like, for me. Plus, on top of that, the female is pretty wide niche. If they're gonna do a niche, true. Is because I'm like I'm hung up on the the absolute de like damage she can do because she ignores defense. Mm -hmm. She got an MP strengthening, so her MP one used to be the uh like almost MP two beforehand. It's not. It's weird because beforehand like. Her MP2 is 1600%, and now her MP is 1400%, so she only got a 200% damage increase. It's weird. It's not normal. Mm -hmm. It's not how it normally is, but it's whatever. I mean, I just. That fucking information erasure is so good that I'm hung up. I don't. Like, she was the first like, server. Because, like, yes, to there's have so that. many. There's so many females in this game, but in my head, I've never thought, oh man, I'm gonna be fighting. Like a female unit, I'll bring along Jack. I'm like, no, no. Like I, I don't think that, right? Hey, okay, I love MHX. Ain't no way in the world I'm bringing MHX over Jack. I'm sorry. It, it honestly gotta depend on who I'm fighting. If I'm bringing a single target saber or, or, or so I'm facing against a saber, I'll consider MHX that she's good in that niche. But like Jack overall, just her neutral like, game, and the fact like, oh man, look at all these buffs I got. I can crit you down. Give me that shit. Alright. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll use, like, a rider as an example, I guess. Like, if I were to be fighting fucking Europa, right? Because, mm. like, she's the only female rider outside of, like, Quetz that I can think of that you fight in this fucking game. Mm. That, like, the boss fight actually kind of matters. I don't... I wouldn't bring Jack. Jack's not a unit that I would bring. I would value... Like, IMO, I would value the party buffing of Ryder Ryoma, or the single target nature of Kagatora. At least that's me. Right, but now we're- Even going... Percival, to a degree. Yeah, but now we're going outside the spectrum of- I mean, yeah, going, like, going outside, outside the class, space. it's just like, it just, just in my head, even with that female niche, I- the situation never comes to my mind of oh it's a female I'll just bring Jack no there's always somewhat uh, there's always some other single target unit that I think of that is more readily accessible at least to me right and that's but fair. but even but without 
that female in mind. Yeah, I guess she is kind of EX, isn't she? Like, honestly, with all much she does, it's like, it's, that's like the easy ZX I've, get, I've given all night. Like, with a little resistance. In my head, I was thinking Jack's gotta be EX. Like, 100% has to be. So I'm, I, I just, I'm trying to look at, like, her whole kit and everything in her kit, like, yeah, usable. I, I just wanted to hyper-focus on the... Yeah, the that is something to consider. Bit. I'm not saying, like, she's the best of the best, bar none. Use her oh, yeah, every oh, obviously not. But, I just... I'm just my my autism is fucking like looping on that female niche. I feel and I needed I, and I needed to get it out of my system. Well, I'm glad you got it out. But I appreciate you. That's good, bro. I'm fucking trying out here. You doing a good job, man. Chat's doing a good job too. You're fucking thanks, appreciate, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all putting up with us uh, <laughs> and me, cause I'm the stubborn old man here. Um, Seno. All right, for, I'm a fucking. For, for I, I'm about. To, I'm about to actually like probably sprout some heresy here. She's an A to A plus. No, no, you're not heresy. I was gonna say the same thing. A to A plus. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the early days of this game, she was an F, and then they buffed her up, and she actually, dude, she actually has a D. She's actually good. Like, she's actually, I know the meme, right? I've called her a rare random prism forever. She actually has a use. Like. No! Forget the fact that her MP is mainly instant kill against males. Forget that. Don't focus on that. Don't worry about that. That doesn't matter. The second skill doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm. What matters is the fact that she is the single best attack buffer for divine units, and her NP removes all buffs from one unit and lowers their defense by 20 to 30 percent based off of level. And she has the single highest NP charge rate in the game, sitting at 2.26. Yes, there are going to be other servers that are better for it, but she actually is an option. She, she is a legitimate option. Would she be, like, someone that I actually got on my way to use? No, but I got to put respect on it. Like, she's not bad. She's not as bad as she used to be. Like, and, like, like you yeah, could, you, you can, like, the... get it out of the way, too, here, right? Mm. Like, yes, you can you can charm lock. Funny meme, haha, you can charm lock males. But, like, if, if you actually use her as, like, a buff, debuff support, she's actually pretty fucking good. You could. You very, you very well could. The amount of but fucking the divine units we have in this game is but, insane! But here's my problem, Plushy. You're going, uh, you're, you're pairing a five-star against a four-star. So, you kind of gotta expect that. With the four star, you do have the fact of lower AP cost. The fact that she's a perma and the chance that you can get her in the beginning means she has an easier access to a Sakuhime. Year one means year one materials, easier to level up. It's something to consider, honestly. I say A is a fine spot for her, personally. We have so many divine servants in this game. Like, eat, like, yeah, Just but, but, hypothetically uh, on, off on, the on, top on, of my head. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Yeah, no. Buff removal is not the reason why she's A, though. <laughs> like, that's not the only reason why we're putting her in there. Yes, buff removal is nice, but it doesn't mean that, like, that's the end all be all. So don't be saying Phantom deserves. Just, like, I just use Phantom. No one's fucking out here using Phantom except for one person on Twitch. That's because that's his favorite servant. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's his favorite. That's his favorite servant. Leave him alone. He's just out here trying his best. Nah, like, like straight up. Defense down. Buff removal, and forty percent attack up for three turns for divine servants. And she can get her MP back readily fast to continue that buff removal and get the defense down. She's not the best unit in the world. She's not fantastic. But yeah. she is actually usable and better than you think that she is. I don't think she... Well, I mean, if you wanted to put her in B, I guess. I could see B. I honestly could see B, I, but I, I, I don't... It's just like... 
I don't think like she needs help. That's not the thing she needs. She's just she's solid. She's good. And you could make her even better. And she yeah, but she's not like, oh man, she needs some help. It's so I just like her I am I am O. Good. I am O, right? We have over like 230 servants in this game. We have 56 servants. Unless my math is wrong here. That have divine. A lot of a majority of them are four stars. I can check it out. Thank you for that. I, I, I could be like completely wrong on that math. Could, it's a but... little a little hard because there's a lot of shit in my face. But let's say you don't want to use like a four star or a five star. Ku, Ku Caster, Ku Proto, Caesar. And Kogil are all divine divine. units. The shit ton of divine. I'm not even gonna front. There is so many divine servants in this game. You like one row is nine. No, I'm going down. Yeah, no, sorry, one row is four is eight. So yeah, I know. And I'm counting down like the first five. That's 60. We're well over 60 at this point. We're, it's a lot. We're probably easily close to 100 or over 100. So over half the units has some sort of divine. But you have to be facing against those servants. So I... I, I, I no, understand. no, you don't have to face them. She buffs oh, divine. Oh, buffs them. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I missed So she said. gives the party a 20% attack up. And then if they're divine, she gives them another 20% attack so, up for uh, three I, turns. For me, a lot of the divine servers on here are, like, really good, too. <laughs> like, right? Like, like, you have... Like the you have Canis. You have Canis, for example. You have Herc. Hell, she Ku even, Alter. She even busts Kintoki. a Sakamihime. <laughs> she even busts a Sakamihime out there. Astraea can tell me. Astraea? Like, she, she has a fucking use. I, I don't think she's bad. I would say it's fine. I would say A is fine. She's Again, not, if you want to put, put her, like... I will, I, will, I will agree that she is dated. Like, she's old. So, like... If y'all want to say, hey, yo, she old, like, why would I use her over anyone else, even if she could do these things? She does have a niche. I'll, I will go for B, honestly. But I I feel like A is fine. But I don't know. I mean, if you want to put her in B or not, I don't know. It, uh, B or A? B or A? Is that's kind of where a. I think she is. is I kind of think she's in that range. Yeah, it's B or A, honestly. Man. Oh, man, I don't know. I just kind of wish DW would stop uh, auto. I stopped drinking auto farm and already trying for bosses. That's because they want their bosses to actually live. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. We will we'll still B. But the A, the potential to A is there, and it's very easy. If her charisma is skill one, I'll give her A. It's skill three. Skill three. No, you gotta, you gotta actually invest. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. have, you have. If you want to use it, you have to like use her. Yeah, so I can make her esports. <laughs> I, I will. Shit. I will let. That's a fucking zinger. Yeah, Someone give fucking plushy a fucking medal on that one. Yeah, that one good. is incredible. That. that was that was actually really good. That one was a fucking woo! That one was fucking good. Fuck it, I'm making you a moderator for that shit. <laughs> that one was so fucking good. That was actually good. All right, next up, Shutan. Oh. Uh, one of the best arts AOE farmers. Preliminary, ever. preliminary A A plus. Preliminary AA plus, and then we'll move up from move up or down from there. Yeah, we like put her in A, and then we'll either move her up or move her down. That's a lot of buff. She gives a lot of debuffs. She also got an MP back. Well, the debuff, finally. the debuffs are on her MP, right? Right. Like because, all right, guys, real talk. Let she me, is let me one of the few AOE assassins with a battery. Yeah, she's one of the few, and she's, I think, the only arts one. Honestly. 
like an actual isn't 50% she like battery. the isn't she the only aoe arts yeah i think she is the only one am i crazy chat someone vibe check me someone vibe check me like so at the very least her first skill is reducing the defense right second skill increasing it the fact that her second skill is multiplicative stacking. No on... fucking Nito Assassin's AOE arts. Okay, good to know. And and uh, Nito Assassin, Shuten, and uh, um, Phantom. They're all AOE arts. Oh there yeah, so no, Shuten's just fucking. All right, all right cool. There, there, um, there, there we go. There we go. All right, but yeah, no, like second skill is being uh, multiplicative stack is not bad. Twenty percent attack, thirty percent MP damage is good. Then that third skill was, was just a guts, which is like meh, but then turns into guts and then a 30% uh, MP charge. That 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 links up. Nita Assassin loops if she doesn't insta kill. Problem this is, is a lot of her stuff increases her insta kill. All that right. is incorrect, actually. Oh, I, I so use Nita Assassin a lot. That's actually incorrect. Uh, Nita Cri Nita Chris Assassin on, on JP or NA. <laughs> That's the other thing. Who, Nita Chris Assassin? No, I thought the plushie is like, can she loop, loop on NA? Or yeah, AP? yeah, she can loop on NA. I mean, she was looping on NA all the way back when uh, Tama Caster got her first, got her buff to her uh, first skill. The 30% uh, three turn MP damage up. Like, you could actually, no joke, double Tama Caster, MLB K scope, Nita Chris uh, Assassin MP loop easily done. Just the sheer amount of damage, AOE, and all those fucking debuffs, man. And then toxic status, too. So now the poison's gonna hit even harder. Uh, like, it was like she was MP looping back when Benny Enma first came out. I don't... But that's for later on. I think... She hits really hard, but plus the Divinity I think she's too. an A. I think she's an A. I don't mind giving her like, an A, personally. Because, like, she only hits once, so looping is never going to happen. This is true. Only one hit. She right. has good team usage, but I don't think she's anything you need to have. Hypothetically speaking... You could put her in a poison comp with like Serenity and Robin Hood and go Burr. But she's like not necessary, you know? You know? Oh, we're about to make someone fucking sad, Dark. aren't we? Oh man, I don't even know the guy who likes Matahari, but Matahari got done dirty. I mean, she did finally get a buff. It's okay, it's not the best. It's her only buff! Put yeah. this fucking bitch in D! Oh man, fuck. I'm sorry, Shin. Ah, oh, man. I just say, is there anything to put her in C? Like, like not even just like just taking the emotional the emotion out of it. Cause I don't I don't want to do my boy Shin like that. But taking the emotion out of it, Matahari. I don't want to fuck, dude. He's he's a great guy. But man, yeah, she has very real. I back completely on esports. <laughs> Yeah, because her fucking crit damage is on her first skill, so you don't even have to level her. You just have to level her first skill. All supports with low HP is viable. All supports with low HP are viable for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me look at her ass again. Fuck. Bro, don't even don't. You're, you're gonna hurt yourself in your confusion. It's too. It's too late. I'm just gonna try no. it anyway. You're gonna hurt yourself in your confusion. It's all right. I'll take the chance. It's good. It's fine. Uh man, look at those! Oh my God, those hits on <laughs> her cards are so low. I'll give this girl an animation update or something. First skill increases crit star generation and party crit damage. That's good. What's the second skill? 
charming males for a turn, not even 100%. At least it reduces their defense. Well, you take the twenty percent. I just, I just like he, like. Oh my god. Hy in, in a hypothetical scenario, right? Let's say you magically get her NP off. Let's say magically you can get her NP off. Second skill, third skill, and NP at max levels. Granted, you have to lure her. For that. Is a sixty percent defense down. All for three turns. If you really wanted to make her work, you could, but I, I hardly I see just, a world where I you're don't... putting K-Scope on a Matahari unless you're trying to do that. You're trying- just... She doesn't even have a passive skill, guys. She don't even have a passive. Like, nothing. Not even a form of presence concealment. I don't know, like, I just like, like... Like in some cases when we're saying, hey, put grills in this server, we're actually getting some real value out of it. You're not really getting much value out of grill like her. Like, don't use her to de dump debuffs and leave her to die? Come on, don't do... Uh, fucking... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in my own words, I was willing to have a Sakabihime in fucking B tier solely because of her first and third skill. I feel like I'll put Matahari in C skill solely because of the, the first skill. Final answer. By my own words, I was alright with Osaka Behime and B because of her first and third skill. By my own words, I, I was okay with that. Real talk. I'm a I'm a sorry. Lightning round for me. Really fast. Cause I need to do this to get this out of the way. F. What are you looking for? F. <laughs> F. <laughs> F. You're not fighting me. They're Fs. <laughs> no, let's go! You're not fighting let's me. Let's go! <laughs> you can probably convince me to give Consort you a D, but no, because she still removes her fucking buffs. It don't fucking matter. It don't matter. It still removes them. The, the, the problem with you still exists. <laughs> no. No. Do, do me a favor, throw Sanson in F2. What does he even do again? Exactly. What is he, like, no, real talk, what is it? Okay, guys, y'all are out here saying use buff is actually good. I don't recall that ever being a thing, but let's, let's humor. All let's right, talk so, about so her, her buff on her it. second skill, right? I'm pulling it up right now. The buff requires you to, uh, once again, get her up to either level 7 or level 9. You don't have to lure it, but if you don't lure it, then you have, like, a 50-50 of if you're going to remove your buffs or not. Because, again, if it's not 100%, it's 50%. Uh, so is RNG, but her second skill, even before the buff, uh, removed... Uh, gave her debuff. Uh, gave, sorry, gave her buff removal resistance. Mm -hmm. Fuck words in this game. Mm -hmm. The buff made it three turns. You still have to level it to either eight or nine if you want the maximum amount. Or you could just leave it at level one and have it be a true 50 50. But the reason why you <laughs> wanted to. It, sorry. Sansa. The re Assassins are supposed to kill people in discreet. Sansin executes people in front of a crowd. That's the worst assassin. Um. <sighs> fucking. The real reason is because she gives herself like a 20. It's like 26 and 28% attack up at 7 and 9. And if you put it up to 10, it's a 30% attack up for 3 turns. If you do level it up to level 10, then she does not remove her buffs. I, in my opinion, this is just me, I don't like being forced to level up one skill to level nine, just so that the rest of the unit works. Jeez. I would put her in C, but I would not put her above C. Y'all gotta, gotta sacrifice something for that. 
Y'all gotta sacrifice something for that. Y'all not gonna like me today. Cause there's only so many times I'm willing to actually adjust what I what I feel. And I'm doing that because y'all actually making good points and I can't afford to like actually turn around actual good points. In my opinion. We brought up Matahari using our own logic for this tier list. Well, that's the thing, Kika, though. You don't have to use skills on 10. I actually advocate for not leveling some skills because there's no point. I also advocate for the same thing. And Kdroth, also on twitch.tv.com slash Kdroth. Go follow him, by the way. Go follow him. Also says the same thing. Like, you shouldn't mindlessly just level every single skill to 10. One is cost his own lures, and two, those materials and QP you can use toward other things. Like, if it's not actively helping you, why are you 10 10 10 again outside of love? Outside of love reasons. Why are you doing that? Like, for example, for me, this isn't everyone. For me, there's no point in leveling Ereshkigal's first skill. There's just not. You could say the cooldowns, but the only thing you actually get out of the, the levels is the activation chance on all of her other buffs, which don't really matter. What matters is the fact that it's a fucking guaranteed invuln. You don't need to level it. Like, you don't. I meant, I meant not agreeing doesn't mean you have to change your list because of that. No, 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 it's fine. No, you're making good points. I'm, I'm mainly just being salty. That's really it. <laughs> Don't mind me, for real. I'm just being salty. I'm just being a salty bitch. So, um, like, at, at least to me... Well, no. I guess... No, I still stand by that. No, fuck you. For me, for me, it's like, Concert you at least has a way to, like, prevent her own destruction, but I just really hate... That she self sabotages herself like that. Like, that just, that doesn't make me. Worry. Oh, yeah. As, like, a unit, I think Concert U is horribly designed. Like, and that's the thing in Book Out, guys. So, yeah, no, in, in certain situations, Concert U is good. Are you telling me that you go out of your way to use Concert U? Is it fun to play with Concert U? That's the other part. How fun is it, is it to play with these servants? Just because they're mechanically sound and they work and have a plan doesn't mean you actually enjoy playing the game. That isn't, that isn't the whole reason why we're playing this game because we actually have fun with it. I don't have fun playing concert Objectively, you. objectively, Kika, in my own opinion, objectively, I don't think you ever have to D. level a skin, uh, level a skill to 10. Nine should be good enough. IMO. Objectively, the batteries are fucking good, and if it's a 50 battery at 10, it's at heavy consideration to lower it. But, my own personal bias is that lures and grails are used for love. And I can only recommend somebody lure or grail a unit to get a better performance out of them. Yeah, I just... Uh, I just that's, that's me, though. That's just me. Yeah, it's like, it, 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 hey, we're going to get into this with Oki to J Soji. Like, the stun fuck sucks. Like, and regardless... People who complain about fucking Okita J Soji don't know how to fucking use her. Like, for me, personally, like, the, the, the insta-death removals or whatever, I don't give a fuck about that. The thing that bothers me is the stun. It does suck that you have to go around that. I still have fun using her neutral, though. Even without the MP, just because she feels like Jack with her neutral. She feels like Jack. But we're not talking about Oki to J Soji right now. I just had to do a little bit of a fire round for that because though some of these were no questions. Jack, you're not telling me you out here using Jackal. Fuck that. They haven't touched this man in ages. Hey, like, you put seriously. you I saw that. You put you back in C, bitch. No. She's not fun to use. I can't advocate that. She's not fun to use. You can't tell me you enjoy using Consort U. I don't you, give a shit! Yes, objectively, huh? as a unit, Objectively, not... as a unit, she's not bad, but what? did you listen to what I said? Just because someone is mechanically sound, they work, Fucking and they, have, and they actually you have a plan, do you, you don't mother, enjoy you using the fucking unit? You no. motherfucker! No! 
That's my you son of a bitch. This is my compromise. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it's me, I Austin. Can't, I can't believe you. It's me, you all son along. of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, kick. What did we say about him again? Because he actually is like huh? a good cop. Uh, he's like C a fucking B. Yeah, because uh, with the buff, he's actually not bad. Yeah, with, the, with like all of the damage buffs he got, yeah, he's yeah, like a he's fucking still not B. Great, but his third skill is dead in the water. Don't use his third skill. Don't look at his third skill. Mm. Look at his his first, his second, and his NP, and realize he actually has like something. Mm -hmm. Before that, he used to be like a C or a D. Bro, this Maybe is gonna be our point. most controversial tier list. <laughs> this one's gonna be the one that we get the most hate on. And I thought we were gonna get shit on from Merlin. Nah, this is the one that we're gonna go up in flames in, bro. Mm. This is the one we're getting. The funny thing is, this is the one where we're actually putting people in multiple tiers. Cause y'all are saying like, oh, y'all, y'all only put people like AA+. That's because those units are good. Assassins? They don't know what they're fucking doing with assassins. This is, like, this is this is the fucking tier list where everybody has a fucking opinion, <laughs> and it's gonna be like, you motherfucker, you motherfuckers are killing all my lilies. Consort you, ZX, god damn it! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. Holy fucking shit, dude! Assassins suck dicks, bro. <laughs> they're not good. I oh. hate this. Is assassin skull hug a B, C, or A? Oh my god, I would. I would say a C. I'd say she's a fucking she C. Has but that's some, me. She has some like, yeah, okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was about to say like, is she B? Cause like, no. Nah, she, bro. She's a fucking nah. C, bro. She was one of the first few welfares we got, and a lot of those welfares suffer from like year one itis. Quite a bit. I like her, but it's just, eh, no. Bro, she's like one of the only fucking quick. AOE units in the game that has multiple hit that has like eight hit counts. She hits like eight times on her NP. She can't fucking Scotty loot. Yeah, that's fucking sad. Uh, what's fucking Kichi Hogan's hit count? Like four. Is it four? I thought it was a lot. Like I remember looking at it's like that's actually not bad. No, wait. She seven. Does first, she hits she seven. She does just yeah seven. That's she does actually first. comparable, and she's like better in every way. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's just better. She's just better. She's fucking better. But, you know, C's a C. Moving on, Jin K. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. In my opinion, Skahawk Assassin is C because she's got fucking double C's. There we go. <laughs> Jin K, D, C, or B. Or, I don't Post, think she's an F. Post buff Jin K. Did get that what buff. do we feel about her? I want to say B at least, maybe. I put her in C right now, but I kind of want to say B. I kind of want to so say like, B. She's like, she's like, like high C, low B. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. No pun intended. She is like a C. Because hmm. like. like First, because the first skill is increasing the increase. Oh, don't direction. even, don't even, don't even look at her first skill. I, I, I know, but I gotta go through each one. It's just the thing. It's 15 crit stars. Sucks. Second skill of generation, but then it turns into oh my god, actually something good. <laughs> like, that's a lot, and it actually makes sense. Cool. I ain't gotta say anymore. That's good. Uh, quick performance for one turn. Good damage for one turn. And then the MP, but the MP got increased. So it's it like more the, damage, you gain a shit it also, ton of stars. You also gain a shit ton of stars, but that 1k HP demerit is important because she only has 8k HP. And it doesn't say it doesn't stop her from dying, so she could potentially kill So, like, she can fucking that. kill herself from this. Yeah, no, she's a C. She's a C. No, she's a C. It, it's too much shit going on with her. You can try to make her good and succeed, but I feel like C honestly if it's the best it's like yeah, because... like she has like a fucking blueprint plan and people like threw it onto the table and they were like go i i think she suffers the most from like year one syndrome year one not only year one syndrome but when they play too much into her lore 
the fact that she failed to kill Shing Huan Di, they really like, okay, you're gonna suffer because of that. <laughs> like, we're not just gonna, you're not gonna be a good unit. Not at all. Like, you can make her a B. I just feel like you're bending over backwards to I, do that. I just, and well, I feel see. like if you ignored the NP, mm -hmm. she's like, a, like the low, like the bottom of B. She's like, she like barely gets B. But if, Daniel, if you take into... On. Give me a second. Daniel, are you drunk? You okay? If Kojiro's A+, plus, she's at least an A. More damage in stats. Bro, she's literally a three-star. Kojiro does not kill himself from a noble phantasm. Yes, he requires grails. If you have grails, do it. Without grails, I'll admit he's probably like an, a B or an A. With grails, he's an A+. Plus. And I, I want him in there for the A+. Plus. Like, just don't MP. Literally the whole thing about using a servant. Just don't use the Noble Phantasm. I, I can ignore not using a skill. I can't ignore not using a Noble Phantasm. I can't ignore that. That's rough. Yeah, like, she has so low HP that using her NP... And, and like, it's not an insignificant amount of crit stars, too. That's a lot of crit stars that you could get to quick crit chain off of. But, like... There's just... She fucking evaporates. Mm -hmm. She's paper mache. Paper mache indeed. And really quickly, I'm gonna leave y'all to contemplate old man Hassan being an EX while I go take care of my kids. Be right back. Uh, Tristan, have fun. Tristan, have fun. Uh... All right. So, old man Hassan, he's like one of the more obvious A plus EXs in the game, right? Right? Like I'm not crate, like not crazy. Like, we, like, going at least into his first skill, which got a buff, a, like, Death's Abyss EX, gives himself a, a Guts one time for five turns, and Death's Abyss uh, for five turns. If he activates Guts, it increases his Buster card effectiveness for five turns. It also gives him a fucking 20% battery on top of that. So that, uh... Uh, that buster up is a 50% buster up, and that in uh, that battery is a 20% battery. That's insane. This and that's not even looking into the fact that the fucking HP he gets off of revive is 5k. He gets 5k HP off of that fucking skill. Like, that's ridiculous! Not to mention his second skill, Protection of the Faith, A plus, A triple plus. 25, 100 HP heal, a 100% debuff resistance for three turns, a 40% defense up for one turn, and a 20% attack up for three turns. Five turn cooldown, by the way. Alright, and then he has Evening Bell which increases his buster performance by another 50% and low, uh, lowers the D, uh, the death resistance by 100% for three turns on all enemies. Then he has magic resistance. He, as an assassin, he has magic resistance, which is more passive debuff resistance. And he has independent action, which passively increases his crit damage. He has... Uh... Like, 11.8k attack, meaning that when he attacks, he's gonna hit fucking hard. He can't get instant kill. He has 100% uh, charm immunity, and then he has a gimmick where, like, he has a 5% chance to instant kill an enemy if he normal hits them. But with a fucking NP generation of 1% with a 3-hit arts card, 
If he crits that arts card, he gets his NP back. He just gets it. So, so let me, let me explain to y'all why him having a triple buster deck with a buster NP is some of the most ludicrous DPS you could possibly imagine. Now, some of you may not understand the actual damage output of a buster brave chain. On base, base, a quick arts and buster brave chain have different scalings. A quick Brave Chain has an 80 to 96 to 112% brave, uh, damage scaling. First card hitting 80, second card hitting 96, third card hitting 112% damage. This goes up to Buster. Buster, on its first card, is 150%. On the second card, it's 180. And on the third card, the Anchor card, it's 210 Furthering this, when you start a chain with a buster card in front, all subsequent cards get a 50% attack bonus. So you have that anchor card of 210% getting a 50% attack bonus. You have that second card getting a 50% attack bonus. Well, on top of that, as if that wasn't dumb enough, Buster Brave Chains. Second and third card get a further attack bonus of 20% of the Servant's attack stat added to the card. So on top of that 50%, they get 20% of the attack stat added to that damage count. And that's not even looking at the extra attack. You ever wonder why fucking Gawain is a fucking monkey? Why he is a silverback gorilla? You ever wonder why people are shitting bricks at Ibuki? Ever wonder why people are now looking at fucking Arthur and thinking, Oh man, I kind of want to simp for that man. You ever wonder why fucking Herc broke the game for two years? Yeah, a Buster Brave Chain is a dummy thick. He's gonna choke a bitch. Bro, you don't even need fucking face card buffs on the extra attack for Gramps and Buster Brave Chains. Because the amount of sheer attack buffs that just a base Brave Chain gives itself is already ludicrous. Gramps needs to be in the Gramps tier above EX. That's fair. True. Correct. Not actually incorrect. Bargus is another fucking good one, too. Yeah. Bargus is pretty fucking dumb. You see, the issue with Artoria and trying to bring up Artoria in this is because if, let's say, you use her Dragon Reactor, right? Yes. All of her command cards turn into Buster. But after that, she can't do that. And now you've wasted that 30% NP damage up. Like, it's just gone. That's why I much prefer using Arthur if I'm gonna, like, use a 5-star for face carding, because Arthur now is fucking dumb. 
with a he has a three turn 50% buster up what <laughs> what what who decided this who looked at this and said he can have a 50% buster up lasting three turns have a 50% crit damage up last three turns on a 30 star bomb. Who, who thought that that was okay? I have to know. I have to kiss that man. All right, cool. So EX, right, right. All right, moving on. Is it me or is Tristan yelling the funniest shit on the planet when he's not direct? <laughs> Generally sounds about right. All right, cool. Carry on. Katara is that Fu Uzer behind you with the fucking? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is Ouroboros controlling uh -oh. Sir Percival. Why does he have that? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of Arthur in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Fuma. Fuma, Fuma, Fuma. B, uh, a. I want to say A for now. I'm willing to go up or down though. Yeah, I'm willing to go up to A plus. Let's put him at A first. Let me review him real fast. Cause he is good. He's 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 quite good. I'm not I, like just preliminary. I'm not even thinking yeah. about the the about anything else. I just yeah, I like, know he's not bad. So right. I want him yeah, in a the, for now. That's the thought too. Like this is just like we put him there. Okay, cool. Now let's actually like analyze and break down. Uh, so he great hits on arts and quick cards, and yeah, extra like he, where it he, counts. He has a triple, triple quick deck. Alexa, hits stop. four times. His first skill is actually pretty all right. Yeah, not Crit bad. Crit chance down, lasting three turns. Uh, AOE, and he has an AOE attack down for lasting three turns. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Targetable evade that also increases crit star gen. Uh, There's paranoia actually. AO AOE buff block. AOE defense down, AOE debuff resistance down. I like it. Pretty good. NP, good damage, good defense reduction. Confusion, you're not really going to notice it too much, but I guess it's just a nice thing to have. It's just good damage. Like, right? like good hit counts, good damage. He's, it's nothing like super flashy, but it's something that sneaks up uh, on you. And uh, honestly, I think that's pretty good, like st uh, stat wise. I don't really see any like anything bad. Right. So I think A plus is kind of. I'm thinking A plus. It, yeah, because it's a, nothing a, bad. Honestly. You, he, what do you what do you like? You thinking A plus? I don't. I don't. A I don't see like anything where it's like, oh man, well, uh, Fuma needs X Y Z. Like he doesn't really need too much else. Honestly. Right. Because like, I I use Fuma. Like I actually use Fuma. So like. He generates so many stars, and the debuff potential that he- like, he's utility! Mm -hmm. yeah. He's like, he's a fucking utility knife. I don't know, I think A+. Plus. I, mean, I think I'll, he's good, I think he's with, fantastic. I'm fine with A+, plus, honestly, especially after the buff. Especially after the buff, like, and once his, uh, once his skill got buffed and his MP got buffed too. Nice, very nice. <sighs> Nito Chris Assassin. Uh, there was a time where I actually thought she was a D. I know they did buff her, and then Arturia Caster came out, which elevates people a bit more. So let's get. What they they buffed Nita Chris Assassin? I thought they buffed her. Did they not? No, they buffed Nita Chris. I thought they buffed Nita Chris Assassin too. No. Oh well, she might be in D tier then. But y'all no. So she is. To me otherwise. All right. So don't place her yet, because I have to run through this right. First skill dead. Second skill dead. No point leveling either of those two skills. Third skill is the only one that matters. Yeah, I see that. Attack, attack up, NP damage up, NP generation up, all for three turns. 30, 20, 30. If you level it to 10. Mm -hmm. NP. Three hits. Uh, With a... 0.78... MP charge rate, instant kill chance on overcharge. She can NP loop using double Tomama with a max K scope. That's 
expensive. The issue, though, is that as a unit, she has no battery. She has no way to actually, like, buff herself outside of that third skill. You have to get her to 70 to get that third skill. So you have to, like, third ascension her to get there, meaning you have to invest resources to get there. And even then, her t first two skills are dead, so a third of her kit is dead. You're not using her to generate stars. What are you using? And if you want to use her for farming, which is kind of what That's she kind of needs to do, right? Her kit doesn't really facilitate that. Like, at all. I'm up. You can make her, like, loop, but I think she's like a D. As like a, like a unit. Like, honestly, like, I just know it's like, this is sounding like D to me. <laughs> it's like... Because like, at least Matahari has, like, well, we can use two of her skills on her MP. <laughs> this was, like, more like, two like, of her even, skills. Because, like, even then, right, all of that is dependent on her NP not instant killing one enemy. Mm -hmm. She cannot ki instant kill an enemy. If she does, she can't loop. I don't feel, right? like, I don't feel like she's better than you. No, I don't feel that at all. Uh, again, the reason why I'm using D tier because it doesn't feel fun to actually play the unit, unless you like her, but not. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Shiki, y'all got complaints with that? Y'all got complaints with that? Come on, fight me! Come on, who who, who y'all using? Who y'all using for your your farming? Yeah, she's fucking taking everything out. She was literally one of the five welfares that is the best welfares to get in this game. Next to Ryder Kintoki and Chloe. Kagatura is also on that list, by the way. Arguably so, Saber so fun, fun fact. Fun, fun fact mm. to the, the man in chat who said that Mysterious Heroine X has the highest damaging NP in the game. Incorrect. Without uh, damage buffs. Uh, and even higher with damage buffs. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Without damage buffs, the highest damaging single target NP in the game for Assassins is Old Man of the Mountain. At NP1... Because of quick scaling, yes, Mysterious Heroine X will do more damage than Old Man in the Mountain. But at MP1, Li Xuan does more damage than both of them. At MP2, Li Xuan still does more damage than both of them. At MP2, though, Old Man does more damage than Mysterious Heroine X. At MP3, both Old Man Li and Old uh, Old Man in the Mountain do more damage than Mysterious Heroine X. And then once you get to 4 and 5... Old Man of the Mountain does more damage than both of them. If you take into account... Yeah, uh, the if, if you take into account special damage, then she does the most damage in the game for single-target assassins. But only if she has uh, the special uh, effect damage buff. But yeah, no, we talk about Shiki. And Shiki is very good. Bar none. Moving on. And yeah. that is uh and that is of November first. Oh man. Chiyome C or a D, honestly. And don't y'all say, oh well you put fucking uh you put Serenity in B. Why well, Chiyome in C cause Chiyome is way worse at it. She's way worse she's way worse than Serenity's job and she's more expensive. Like, like overall, like C is being uh, honestly generous. I want to say D, because for a while, and I remember this, it was a big controversy about this. Yeah, Yome people me. was one of the worst four-star assassins, arguably one of the worst units in the game, honestly. Yeah, when I made that comment, I got people got mad at me. He was like, "Uh oh, oh, consort, you is worse." 
And it's like, okay, but concert you isn't out in NA right now. No, the exact wording, mind you, mm-hmm. I said Chiome is one of the worst units in the game. Yeah, I what? did not say I did not say she was the worst. I said she was one of the worst units in the game. Mm-hmm. I then got a very angry man saying, "I disagree. Consort U is the worst unit in the game." And I'm like, first off, okay. Second off, I never said Chiome was the worst unit in the game. Go back to my Shimosa banner review, and I literally, word for word, say she's one of the worst units in the game. Shit made me mad. Yep. Right Shit made said. me fucking mad, because put words in my mouth. Don't you fucking put words in my mouth, you son of a bitch. <laughs> if bad, why cute? Tell me, Tristan. Because we can't have fucking nice things, Kika. We can't have fucking nice things in this fucking world. Mm-hmm. Now it's time. We can't have cute waifus and have those cute waifus actually be good. It's one or the other, Kika. You can't have both. No, we can't have we can't have shit in this house. But you know what we can have? A B-rate Kanto Danzo. Yeah. I. I don't. Tato Danzo's. Like, I no, I don't think she's a C. Because like she's better than anyone I else. I think in the she's a here. B. The reason why, because like over anyone else in the C tier, I'd rather use Kato Danzo. Like it's like I just don't feel right putting her with those four. Don't you get know? me wrong, she's. She's definitely not. She's bad. The problem. Like, she has problems. She does have problems. But Kika, you're the one that's sprouting out utility. She has a way to give multiple people targetable evades and, and a targetable invo. No, utility. listen. There's no. That's all right. No, I'm no. Let no. Me, let, no, you can't interfere in this. She struck. No, first. I'm. I've no, I'm. Back. I'm interfering in this because there's one thing to have utility. It's another thing for one of your skills to be essentially dead because your third skill's just better. Mm-hmm. Nice to have a backup. I'll have uh, to me is she's not. I don't feel right putting her in C because honestly she's better than them. I'll That's... put her in the lowest of B. 100%. Like, that's kind of how I feel about her. I don't... I don't feel comfortable putting her in the same class as those four units, because I don't think she's as bad. She's still bad! Yeah, she needs... She needs uh, need like, treatment. But, need like, she, treatment. she has a performance buff in a deck that makes sense with a double buff... Uh, double buster, double quick deck that has... A performance buff lasting three turns for both of those. She doesn't have a bad attack stat for a four-star assassin. And her NP is AoE that also increases the party's buster performance. So, like, she actually, like, has shit going for her with, like, an, a, an evade and an invuln. The issue is that there's no point using the evade because invuln is just better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, indeed. It's bad, why hot? So honestly, because we can't me, have nice things! So for me, honestly, if it was judging this on looks, I the Donzo would be an EX for me. But... I don't know, she'd be like I'll, No, I know, but you know my fetish. So Yeah, I know your fetish. Anyway, in either case, I'll put her down as a high C. Because at the end of the day, she does have some utility, but I feel like she does need more help. In my opinion. Um, she, needs, she, needs, she needs some help. I, I was looking like, at the assassins she we had that. left, and I couldn't see Kama, and I was like, am I high? No, nope, she's in that first ascension, that's why. <sighs> now tell me why Ushi is going to probably join her at C or be a D. Oh, dude, she's a fucking D, bro. Yes, nah, like dude, she's a fucking D. I love Ushi. That, that <laughs> she's a fucking, she's a fucking... 
She's fucking bad, bro. You know what? I can't even. I can't even She's try. Fucking, I can't even try. What's up with these summer assassins, man? <laughs> summer assassins. Bro, I love my Ushi. I treat my Ushi so goddamn well. That bitch a fucking D, bro. Then we moving on, man, because it, it's she's just bad. Look her up if you want to know. Oh man, Lee. all right, oh man, yes. Lee EX the e one of the easiest EX. Like honestly, one of the easiest EX. Seriously, <laughs> but it's like they didn't have to think about it. We don't have to fight on it. It's damage really good, and they buffed him. The Mat Lads buffed him. <laughs> so yeah, it's these like... motherfuckers buffed one of the highest fucking damaging assassins in the game, and they they did it. Like easy, like easy ex, easy ex. I'm glad we glad we agree. Damage, bar none. So happy I have an old man Lee. Moving on, Kama's also ex, and I know Kika's not gonna like that, but she is really good. So Kama's like the not better. I'm not saying she's better than old fourth, man Lee. She's the fourth highest damaging there. NP in the game. Uh -huh. Like she's good. She's up there, and if you factor in, if you want, if you factor in Scotty, she just takes off. She what? just goes off. Charm, she can fucking loop her MP, and because she can loop her MP, she can charm loop. It's just, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff going down with that. Oh man, honestly, commas yet. Like, if you want to do it this way, old man Lee arts, uh, old man of the mountain versus son Buster, comma quick. There you go. It's because, like, at least for me, if we're look, if if Jack is in EX because of her NP damage and her skills, there's no way comma isn't in EX because Correct. of the exact same thing, especially when comma does more damage than Jack base without buffs, mm -hmm. and does more damage than Jack with buffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, moving on, Gray, D or C? Alright, I don't think she's that bad. I think she's like a B. But we'll that's her, me. We'll put her in B for now. And then we'll move her up or down from there. Don't think she can get higher than B, honestly. I think Don is going down to C level. I do it, but let's see. Let me look at her skills again. She's cute as fuck, and I hate it. And once again, we go to this thing of, oh man, she cute. Why is she bad though? <laughs> she is a welfare too. She, I guess that also what makes it bad. Her competition is real chic. <laughs> like that's how can you fucking? And is it though? Why would you compare a single only, target only to on a, a welfare basis? I'm not comparing in terms of like style, but like as all right, a fair. welfare. All right, yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right, Sorry. all right. Sorry, I should have, I should have clarified. No, 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 you, no, you're right, no, you're right. Like, cause it's this whole undead thing, right? I don't know, I don't know. All right, looking at it, first skill, like, attack up, and you should have undead. Okay, whatever. Second skill. Uh, you have a 40% quick in Buster, and then she has Invo for one attack a turn. It's not bad. It's kind of high turn count. Not bad. Third skill, 20%, and then increased debuff resistance by 30%, and then Rango Midia, damage to all enemies. Reduce quick resistance and Buster resistance. It's not bad. It's just lacking. Like, yeah, that's why I don't think she's like a D. I'm all right with putting her in a C. See, but it's I like, it's, it's like, she's not, she's not like consort you, Ushi, and Nidacris bad, right? Like, C is like, you need help. You need some milk. Because like, she, she has good skills. She has good stats. Like, for a four star assassin, she has base almost 10k attack. Mm -hmm. Like, she's not, she's not that. Bad. Yeah, for me, she she especially is considering she's a Buster AOE. Like, I I say I feel more comfortable putting her alongside like Assassin Shiki, uh, Kiritsugu and Kato Danzo versus Consort Yu 
Ushi, Nina Chris Assassin, and Chiyome. She's not that bad. And she plus right, she's like, free, guys. Because, like, like, at least she has right. a usable kit. She has a usable kit. Her kit makes oh. sense for, like, the staffs that she has. It's just very tragic that she is a buster. Mm -hmm. She should have been... She should have been quick. Quick. She should have been quick. In yeah. which case, she would have easily been A, A+. Plus. Mm -hmm. But they, like, they put her on that buster train and I just fucked her. Like, honestly, and also, I don't feel comfortable putting her lower than Assassin's Skyhawk. Like, Assassin's Skyhawk's a C, Gray's right there next to her. Um, Especially when her skills in every way, like, her skills are the best skills in C tier. Mm, they can actually all do something just lacking, it's, it's just lacking, literally. Like, yeah, That's it. I, don't, I don't want her lower than C, IMO. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's literally that bad. <sighs> but now we talk about Charlotte Corday. She's a. I don't want her lower than an A, in my personal opinion. I am willing to compromise, though. A is fine. I'm fine with putting her in A. Like, honestly, uh, almost all of the fucking bronze service, uh, literally all of them are good. Some better than others, yeah, but those new servers that came out, those bronze servers are, like, legit. Her third skill is so fucking funny to me. Oh, it's, yeah, the, the concept. It's so weird. And it's so funny to me. But she actually has, like, good skills. Kind of. Sort of? Maybe she is a B. Maybe. Maybe she is. I don't know. She might be. Ignores invo, increase all attack for one turn. That's on a six turn cooldown. First skill. Mm, two attack. Wait, she has two of these. No, I'm just seeing what I built. Uh, so what I don't like about the third skill is that it's just, you can't It's count random. It. It's, it's a fucking... You, like, you, 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 you want to you want to use the MP damage up? You get the crit damage up. You want to use the arts up? You get the MP damage up. You want to use the crits up? You get the arts up. I think honestly that might be one of the reasons why she is in higher. And then she's also cost some really high cost skill uh, materials, some stakes, mirrors. Oh yeah, she does like, cost mirrors honestly, and stakes. Honestly, no, That's she's a, a C. Yeah, she's yeah. A C. Mm -hmm. all right, yeah, all right. Or B, B all or right. C. Sorry. All like, right. Like, I don't know. I, mm. No, I would, just based off the fact she needs fucking stakes as a bronze unit. Stakes I as a bronze know. unit? Damn, that does bring How do you get lot. stakes as a bronze unit? It's friend point gotcha. Yeah, no. Nah, you right. can't access stakes until Agartha. Yeah, see, in that case, her, like, availability doesn't Bro, matter. Bro, I would put her in a fucking D tier because of that. It brings her down a lot. I won't. It, it brings her down a like, hell of a lot. But like, she's a fucking, she's a fucking bronze unit. How do you? What the fuck? Oh yeah, Salem. Not even a Gartha. It's Salem. Damn. How the fuck are you supposed to level that? Fair. You know what? Fair. You're fucking right. C unit. D don't even. Don't even care about everything else. No. Fuck that. Fight me. Come on, Kika. Let's see what you gotta say. Let's see what you gotta say. A plus is where I'm starting. A plus is where I'm starting. She might just stay there, but A plus is where I'm starting. If you bring up her instant death, if you bring up her instant death, I will literally come to your house and I will make sure that Tristan will never be your top again. My 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 statement on Okita is does her never using her NP. But being one of the most cracked crit assassins in the game warrant her to be EX. I honestly feel like she's like four star Jack. Like honestly, just her neutral. Oh, I wouldn't even compare her to Jack. Cause Okita J Soji is, yes, she can fucking generate crit stars like Jack. Who gives a shit? What Okita does in comparison to Jack is ridiculous. 
Jack can't compare to the fucking crit damage that Plus, she can do. She has an MP. She has a quick performance up that goes up to fifty percent. Sorry, yeah, she has a fifty percent quick up for three turns. for three turns, and she has a one hundred percent crit damage up, like, and she has an evade, like, and she has a three turn twenty percent MP damage up. If you want to use the MP. Hits five times on her quick card, and actually has a rather high attack stat for a four-star assassin. Like, uh, A+, plus, like I said, A+, plus was where I was starting. I was starting A+. Plus. So, like, and for me... Because, like, hypothetically speaking, right? Oh, man. You want to have the... The NP in the argument. Just have the NP go last. I, my only argument for EX, in my opinion, do you see another AoE quick servant here that can do as much as she can do on her own? On I, her I own. just... I don't agree with the EX solely because the, gra the glass cannon, right? Yeah, that is true. We got... The, the, the defense down, I will argue, I will agree to. It's not even just the defense down. She removes defensive buffs, right? No, no, I know that. Yeah, that is that's like her first skill. I mean, to me, you just use that skill first. But oh yeah, obviously. But like, also like the fact that if you don't kill, if for whatever reason you don't kill, and she eats a stray crit in anywhere of those one to three turns that she has, that it's rough. It's, it's like. Rough. I okay. know the damage she can fucking do. Mm -hmm. But the glass cannon aspect of her, especially given the fact that she has, like, 10k HP. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't feel comfortable in EX solely because her competition are people who actually, like, can survive. Yeah. Actually, or do yeah. enough damage that it doesn't fucking matter. Mm-hmm. I don't say she's a high A plus. I'm a, I'm acceptable A plus. Like oh, I, for I sure. started her there. The conversation was like, all right, do we move the X though? Yeah, that and, that's that that was what I was. And then no, and right. I I agree, and I agree. I think she's the top of A plus. I feel like she. What she does is fucking dumb. Like and again, y'all don't bring up fucking instant death to me when you're talking about it. The defense down, like removing the defensive buff, and the defense down. Okay. You bring up instant death when we get out. No one's bringing up instant death as far as I can see. I know. I'm just. It was brought up before in the past, and like I felt like it was talking to a wall because I'm like, bruh. Bro, it think... feels like this fucking tier list we have right here is a fucking brick. Yeah, it does. It this is this is like this is the only tier list that we have ever done that every class every fucking tier has at least three units. At least three. Like, it is assassins, man. <laughs> assassins. Assassins fucking suck in this game. It, it takes us so long to figure out what a good assassin is like. Kiji Hogan. Like, like, minimum. like, before... Oh, no, no, right. she's, she's an EX. Don't you fucking... EX. Don't I, you even try I, to say a bare minimum. No, she's an EX. Put that fucking bitch up there. Just explain your point, and I'll move her up when you're done. She could fucking Scotty loop. I know. Explain the thing you were gonna say. Fucking... It feels like the difference between B and A is a f fucking gulf. It's yeah, a fucking it cliff gulf. It's like if you're in A, like, you cleared something. Because like A feels like they're they're usable, right? A A is like, oh man, fucking, you actually feel good to use. Mm -hmm. And then every unit pat like down below A. Is like you're climbing the fucking Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater ladder down. Yeah. You're not going up. You're going down. The song's also going in reverse. Yeah, and the song is in reverse. That's the fucking. That's the 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 golf. The like in between A and B. It's so big. It's not just like oh man, uh, units that are. That are in in B tier are just just a little bit below A. No, these motherfuckers have to swim the English Channel just to get to A tier. These motherfuckers have to fucking Olympic marathon Amelia Earhart across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. 
It is. And I just I looked at her skills. Yeah, no, Kichu is easy EX, 100%. Nah, no cap, no gilsy. Like, literally, really, really good. No one can argue. No one can argue that. Seriously. Like, this is good. She has multiplicative stacking. She can fucking, like you said, Scotty loop. She put her in the Scotty system. She can actually use, provide some value with, like, a increasing party attack. Her own, she has evasion. She does a lot, and she's a free unit. So, like, yeah, no, that's pretty good. But, guys, you already know we ain't fucking around here, right? You already know we ain't fucking around here, right? I mean, y'all should already know who this is. You, already, you, already, you should already know. You should already know Tom and is an EX. You can't even fucking kid me. There's no way in any world Tom and Vich ain't no EX. Like, legitimately. She's the reason, or she's one of the reasons, in my opinion, that Merlin got bopped out. Because it's like, well, fuck. Might as well get... Like, granted, it's different reasons. I understand that. You use Merlin for challenge quests as long as sustains fight. You use Tom and Beach for farming. And, even... some, uh, and you can even, she even has some um, more offensive niches in harder fights. It's just, she la she does lack some defensive stuff. She's basically all about attacks. It's all about, I kill you first. Legitimately I, that. You die first, I just I like, win. if you actually look at her kit, not only is she a buffer, but she's also a main DPS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, yeah, go ahead. Cause like Buster farming was a thing before, before Veach came along. Let's mm -hmm. not try to kill ourselves. It existed. Right. There's a reason why Waver, like and Plug Suit exists. Mm -hmm. We were Buster farming beforehand. It just wasn't as efficient. Veach comes along and makes it the mo one of the most efficient forms of farming in the game. Mm -hmm. But we were farming with Buster units long before she came along. So don't say she enabled Buster farming. It's a little bit of a misleading statement. However, what she has that Castoria doesn't, that Merlin doesn't, that Scotty doesn't, and that Waver doesn't, is that this bitch can also be a fucking main DPS. Mm hmm. Yeah. This fucking bitch gives herself an attack up on her MP. Passively gives herself 20% NP damage. Passively gives herself 10% arts damage. Passively gives herself 18% cr uh, crit damage. Passively gives herself uh, debuff uh, resistance. Passively gives herself almost 10% quick performance increase. And she has almost 12k attack stat. She will have 12.6 if you give her silver foes. And god forbid you don't have silver foes in this game. Legitimate. At a fucking at a fucking point seven six NP charge rate with a twenty five point five percent star generation in uh, generation uh, stat, she can generate stars on her own because all of her uh, cards hit more than three times or at least three times. Double Buster, double Quick Deck with a Buster NP, meaning she can Buster Brave Chain off of her NP, which can do comparable damage to single targets. Because of the amount of fucking buffs she passively gives herself. On top of the fact that she can do a niche uh, damage against human and man. Gives a 20% crit star bomb. On top of having a buster crit, uh, crit star absorption on her third skill. A 50% buster crit damage up. As well as being a 50% buster performance increase. On top of having a targetable 50% battery that also lowers cooldowns by two. She can. Ha she is by far the best face card support in the game because she can support, but also be the DPS. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Nine times out of ten, no. But she fucking can, and that's the difference. Damn it. And with that. I waited three fucking years for this unit, though. You did. And now I actually have to, like, actually roll on an anniversary, and I haven't rolled on an anniversary. 
Fuck. This is the end you have to get. She's waiting this for you. Fuck. She's waiting for you. But guys, that is the assassin tier list as you see it here. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at it. This is it. After much discussion and debate, this brick house of a tier list is done. We are done with it. It's over. So that means next up, we have Berserkers. Berserkers? Oh, Berserkers. no. Yeah, so oh, Berserkers no. are going to be coming whenever we finish that. And after that, we get to the fun stuff. All of extras. Then we can probably go back and look at our older tier list and update as we see fit. What do you guys think? Realistically here, what do you guys think? Do you actually agree with our tier list? If not, why don't you let us know in the comments down below? And uh, hey, we encourage you to make your own tier list. Let us know we're wrong, that's fine. We had a lot of discussion here. I'm probably hardly cutting out like this thing. So you're just getting a big chunk <laughs> of this and it is gonna be long and that's fair. But honestly, if you want to take it on the wrong, you want to go on the ride with us, go ahead. Uh, but in the meantime... Bro, I can't wait for people to get mad at me for just going on for like 10 minutes about a Buster Brave chain, because I did. Oh, well. While you were gone and I was talking about King Hassan, I was like, so this is why Buster Brave chains are broken. Ah, I see, that makes sense. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad that they didn't fight you on the old man Hassan. Oh no, they all agreed. I just informed them of why a Buster Brave chain was broken keep it in all right i'll keep it in but all right guys so until next time in the berserker tier list i'm a sack of the categories and i'm sitting here with the immaculate tristan and we are logging out Bye bye